What's up, guys? Gucci here with Kill Pop, and we are joined by Burton C. Bell from Fear Factory. What's going on, man? Good. Thanks for having me. Dude, thank you so much. So, Fear Factory is one of those foundational metal bands. I really do think that. it's You guys did so many things for the very first time, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. Like, you were one of the first bands, or probably the first band I ever heard, that did the growl, oh. then the singing. Yeah. Does anybody... Do you, do you get the credit you deserve? Uh, some, yeah, some, a lot of bands do actually, and um, you know they uh, they 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 uh, tell me about bands that they grew up with and bands that they get were into, and the first time they heard anybody like doing the heavy vocal, the growling, and then just into that singing. No one, honestly, no one was doing that. Even though I, as a young artist, when I was trying to learn to sing and teaching myself to sing, um, while this band was starting. I was emulating my favorite vocalist, you know, from you know, many, many vocalists, and it just came out my way, and that seemed to start like to inspire other people because mm -hmm. it's like, wow, we've never heard that before. And the first time we did it was on our first album, Soul of a New Machine, it came out in '92. But even before that, while well, we're you know we're from LA, and so while we're doing like the local shows, the death, the, the downtown death metal shows, mm -hmm. and the Highland Park, you know play in somebody's backyard death metal show and um, people were freaking out was like what the fuck are you guys doing right you know, what is this and it's, it took a while to get a, to like get have people catch on you know we just had to prove it you know play a lot but I sometimes bands will say hey you know you know I, so I do this because of you and uh, thanks and when you are trying to introduce something new to music right? I was trying to you know and for me it was it wasn't really trying to I was just doing what I wanted to do because um, honestly, this is the when I, that's what I translate the music into. Mm -hmm. That's the melodies I have in my head. That's the vocals, you know, inspired by all, all different types of vocalists, and that's so my inspiration causes inspiration for others. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I try to, we always try to do different things. And, but that, as soon as Dino heard me doing like singing like that for the first time in rehearsal, I was just. I was literally just fucking around. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I was like, I'll try this. Yeah. I was one part, and, and it lasted for like, what, what, what? And I thought I was in trouble or something like that. I didn't in trouble, but um, he loved it. He's right. Like, Worked with that. That's fucking awesome. And, you know, when you are introducing new things like that, how many times have you ever seen an artist try something new and then it wasn't so well received and then they backed off? How many times have you had to tell someone, like, hey, why didn't you do that? Why, why did you get away from that? Um, you see it a lot, and mm -hmm. it's, it's a shame, you know. It's because uh, some ideas are really good ideas, and uh, they, I, for some reason, they back off. It may be, may be because uh, they might lose their fans or whatever. And you know, and if you do something drastically different, um, you will lose some fans. Not necessarily because they're leaving you, but because they don't recognize you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, well, I didn't know it. They'll say, oh, I didn't even know that was you. So that, there's the sense of alienating an audience, but you continue to be yourself and doing something different, but that you have to make it yours. You know, you have to make it sound like Fear Factory. We'll think, well, that's a little different, but yeah, that's still Fear Factory. Mm -hmm. So yeah, keeping an identity is important. Right, and uh, the latest album, Genexus, got great ratings. I mean, a lot of people really loved it. Yeah, and, and um, um, it was good, I enjoyed it. Right, and, 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 and you know, and, and, like when it out, I'm glad you did. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, I thought it sucked, but people liked it, whatever. No. Uh, but no, but it, you know, it came out, uh, you know, got a lot of great reviews. When something like that happens, does that just kind of motivate you even more to put out new absolutely, stuff? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, it was such a great response. It was such a great, you know, putting out that record was just positive all the way around. And, you know, it just makes us drive even further and drive even harder. And now um, we've been writing, we've been working on a new album. And uh, it's not, we haven't recorded it yet, but the, all the new songs, I say, in my opinion, are even stronger than Genexus mm -hmm. because it just seems even more tight. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, we got, we're on a groove and it's, it's kicking ass. And recently you guys were touring around doing Demanufacture. Uh, when you do an album like that it's in its entirety, does that influence you to write songs like you did for Genexus? Or? Sometimes, yeah. you know, um, it, it'll, it takes you back to your roots, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even... Um, Max Cavalera and Igor Cavalera were doing Back to Roots, you know, and uh, apparently I didn't have a chance to see it, but apparently it was fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Of course, that record is awesome. Well, of course. So, and I, I saw that on that. I saw them on that tour. I toured with them on that tour, which is even more awesome. Uh, so it's a great record. And so it, it takes you back to your roots, like I'm saying. So yeah, it will influence you to move 
like take those sounds and oh that's okay that's how we did it yeah sometimes you have to go back just to remember exactly who you are recapturing your identity i was like saying again identity within your band is very important as long as you have exactly your set if you have your sound that's great and but the, the motivation to move forward and try different things that is also part of your identity and you can make it yours as long as it doesn't lose your identity right you know for you know we could do like you know some bands have done it i want not to name any but um they you know the metal bands that move forward and then the, what they do a run record well you know fear factory's done it once you know we had a record called transgression it was our rock record and we totally just like alienated people were like that was you that didn't mm. sound like fear factory and we're like well you know that's what the that's what the title transgressions means. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she's gonna, the, right, the book was, I mean, the cover was on, you know. It was like yeah. beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to drink beer. I think I gotta make sure it's got a sponsor name on it. Exactly. So, um, like I was saying, you know, Fear Factory, like one of those foundational, especially when it comes to industrial metal. Uh, so, such a core band. But did you ever think that when you started Fear Factory and started making all these new sounds, that one day you would actually get paid to press space bar on a laptop <laughs> and play music? <laughs> um, I always dreamed about it, <laughs> and uh, it's coming true. So. Excellent. But I, I love playing music. I, I do it at home all the time. I have I have a DJ set at my house, and mm -hmm. I just, I play vinyl you know more than I play uh, my computer, but. Uh, you know, I love playing music. It's, when you heard I metal live for artists, music. When you heard metal artists were doing that, though, were you just like, dude, get my agent? You know, like, I, I got to <laughs> do that. I was like, I, I, I said, I can do that. Right. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I got good taste in music. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I think people like, you know, I'll spend some, I'll spend some cool sh shit that people love. Right you know? on, man. You know, as long as it's music I love, I know that people love it, too. <laughs>